Hello. I found a shocking video on YouTube. It was a report by Freddie Sayers uh, for GB News. And the link, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the whole thing. I'm going to play you some of the clip of Sayers interviewing shoppers in the centre of Vienna. But before I play the clip, I want to remind you of a couple of points. First of all, this is the shopping centre where all the more expensive shops are. And I assume he's in that place because he's more sure of finding people who speak English. In other words, there's a selection here you know, a, a narrow selection of the sort of people who are better educated and I'd say most likely to be in the middle class and upper of Viennese society. So basically what you will see are the sort of people who have the most political influence and more of a voice in Viennese society, well Austrian society generally. This what you will see here are people who are basically among the best and brightest that Austria has to offer. Okay, here goes. It's very unfair of people who are not for health reasons not taking a vaccine because that's obvious, you know. But all the others, they're crazy. So what this woman is saying is that unvaccinated people are crazy. In other words, there's no discussion to be had. It's all set and absolutely certain. <sighs> I'm assuming this is because Germans and Austrians generally still respect doctors and professors far too much in a way that we have no concept of uh, in, in Britain and and America and, and most likely Australia as well. I've lived in Germany and I can tell you I once invited a really important lawyer to my place and you know him and his wife they were there for dinner and when he discovered that my husband was a professor he turned into a gibbering wreck and the next day he came round to the house with a bunch of flowers the size of Amazon I am, of course, referring to the retailer. It's much bigger than the rainforest. OK, all right, on with the show. And this, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll forgive that expression, this is the most shocking thing. And all the trouble we have is due to those people who believe in, I don't know, that the earth is flat. <laughs> all our troubles are caused by these people. Does that sound familiar to you? Also, I want you to notice something else. She refers to them as flat earthers, not as anti-you-know-waters. That means that deep down she knows they might not be as mad as she says they are. So she has to substitute something else that's really mad to lay on them. And then she calls them these people. Creepy, creepy, creepy. All right, next one, let's see. No, I think it's, I think it's the right way because, uh, because um, uh, the, the um, cases are getting higher and higher and higher and the problems are the non-vaccinated people. So I'm fine with that. Now, then Sayers asks her a question. Isn't it true though you can still transmit if you're vaccinated? I, what do what you mean? You can still pass the corona on. She doesn't even understand the question, does she? You see those cogs turning. She's completely flummoxed. She either, she either hasn't heard of it, this, uh, this phenomenon at all or she hasn't listened. Here, I'll carry on. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I think everybody should do what we can do yeah. and to be vaccinated it's the very best option we have. So everybody should do that. Right. And, and she falls back 
onto saying, well, everyone is doing it. That's an argument to conformity, by the way, and it's no argument at all. Again, this does sound horribly, awfully familiar to me. We have a group here, uh, those uh, people are saying, we have a group responsible for all our problems and they're under discrimination, but hey, everyone's doing it, so, well, that's all right then. All right, now the next one, here we are. Okay. Oh, note the mask, by the way. He's got it at the ready. I'm uh, not solidarity with these people. I'm really not in touch with these people. Again, these people. All right, let's carry on. And I believe that uh, it's a good decision from the government. So you don't feel sorry for them stuck at home? No, why I should be punished for the people who just not uh, uh, have uh, uh, the intention to be uh, uh, vaccinated and uh, integrated in our community. Inter integrated in our community. You know, they don't have your opinions. So why should I have anything to do with them? Why should I feel sorry for them? All right, and then... Do you know anyone who's not vaccinated? Yes, yesterday, unfortunately, I met a, a child. He met a child. I seem to remember reports of a time when the grandparents of that guy didn't have many sympathies with children of another out group. Uh, let's uh, go on. He's not going to school today because of lockdown, and um, I asked him why. I said, because I'm not uh, vaccinated. I said, why? I'm scared about that. It's so the child says he's scared. And this guy just smiles and says, well, you know, just a child. Now, uh, something else occurred to me about this. Well, f first of all, I'm going to say... That kid was scared of the vaccination, I'll tell you something. No more scared than I am of this guy. But uh, there is another problem that I've seen, because you see, as I said, these are all the upper echelons of Austrian society. I mean, Vienna is the top, sort of, and then they are probably the top layer of the top. So what's going on here? Who are least likely to conform in the way they've conformed? Well, the immigrants, the Turks, the guest workers. They are less likely to take the vaccine than people like him. They, they are the sort of people who don't trust governments and professors in quite the way these people do. That's the first thing. And these guys know that. So this is not only a push against the unvaccinated, it's a push against the sort of people more likely to be unvaccinated. I'm just pointing that out because it does seem like a slightly odd thing to happen, especially in a country that has a history like Austria's. Anyway, as regulars to this channel might have observed, I am very rarely lost for words. But I, I have to admit that on this occasion, I am not only lost for words, I'm also heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. This is just so depressing. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe 
and share, share, share.